In this tutorial, we'll go over the new features introduced in the Feather 1.1 update and walk you through their basic usage. While this update's primarily focused on UI refinements and adjustments, it also brought some powerful new tools. Most notably, Apple Pencil Pros, Squeeze, Barrel Roll, and Haptic Feedback have been integrated, making your workflow more efficient than ever. If you're curious about the new features from the previous major update, we recommend watching Introducing New Features first. All right, let's start with the squeeze menu. Gently squeeze the pencil, like squeezing paint onto a palette, and the squeeze menu will unfold. This menu provides quick access to context-sensitive tools, making your workflow more efficient. If your Apple Pencil doesn't support squeeze, you can customize gestures in the control menu under pencil options to fit your needs. For example, assigning the double tap gesture to the squeeze menu lets you activate it with a simple tap on the pencil. You can also assign other functions to the squeeze gesture. For instance, setting it to injector allows you to quickly sample colors and brush properties. We highly recommend assigning the squeeze menu as it offers many useful features. For example, you can quickly tap to undo or redo, or tap the magnifying glass icon to use find group. By hovering or bringing the pencil close, you can quickly locate and activate the desired group. The add group function is also very useful. It allows you to split groups without needing to open the stage panel. Lastly, this area lets you adjust stable stroke toggle pressure sensitivity, or use the injector. One of the advantages of the squeeze menu is that the available tools adapt dynamically based on the context. For example, if you recently used and deleted a guide, the Recall Recent Guide tool becomes available. Tapping it restores the last used guide, which is extremely useful if you accidentally delete a guide or forget to save it. When using the selection tool, a few more useful options show up. Tapping the icon next to Find Group allows you to select all active groups. From there, you can manually deselect specific elements as needed. When selecting curves or groups, an additional tool appears in the Squeeze menu, the Stamp tool. This tool lets you quickly duplicate, move, and even rotate objects using Barrel Roll. As you can see, it's especially useful for duplicating and arranging objects like furniture. Try combining it with Select All to explore new visuals and design possibilities you might not have considered before. If you're comfortable with these gestures, here are some tips to speed up your workflow even further. Feather now fully supports the double tap gesture on both Apple Pencil Pro and regular Apple Pencil. Assigning it to toggle draw and eraser allows you to switch tools instantly with a quick double tap. When using the selection tool, you can also toggle select and deselect just as easily. Squeeze gestures offer even more flexibility. In draw mode, squeezing the pencil while drawing automatically switches to draw shape mode. If you need precise lines, just grip the pencil firmly as you draw. For the eraser, Squeezing temporarily turns it into vacuum mode, and releasing it brings the eraser back. The reverse works as well. You can quickly switch between the two just by adjusting your grip. The same applies to select and deselect. A quick squeeze lets you switch between them seamlessly. Once you get used to it, you'll be amazed at how much faster your workflow becomes. Next, let's go over the hover support and cursor features. Like other pencil functions, you can enable or disable it in Control Menu, Pencil Options by toggling Show Cursor. When the cursor is active, it automatically changes based on the current tool, whether you're drawing, erasing, or selecting. So you can quickly see which mode you're in at a glance. Additionally, when drawing 3D brush strokes on a guide, you can preview the brush type, size, color, opacity, material, and pattern before applying it. The magnifier now hovers when using the eyedropper or injector, allowing you to preview the sampled color or properties before confirming. Once you sample, you'll also feel a gentle haptic vibration. Certain actions like sampling colors or selecting curves now provide haptic feedback, 
adding a tactile layer to your interactions. That wraps up our introduction to the new features in this update. Of course, there are many more big and small improvements we couldn't cover here, and there's even more to come this year. Highly anticipated features like the AR viewer and gallery are on the way, along with useful tools like Fill, which are progressing smoothly in development. We'll dive deeper into these in future videos, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.